Hello, hello to all the amazing people, the Niamh are here and the time has come. So after beating the Library of Ruina, uh, it's time to play the prequel, the Lobotomy Corporation here. Face the fear, build the future. I'm very excited about well, <laughs> playing this game. Uh, so yeah, uh, not sure if we're going to do any more Library of Ruina episodes, but uh, in case we miss something, I'll probably do them. But uh, well, I really want to start playing this game. So I decided to record the episode. And, uh, here we are, me recording and you watching in the future so if you're enjoying it don't forget to like and subscribe and well let's see what kind of game this will be i remember watching just a tiny bit on youtube but that was like months and months and months ago so okay uh we'll be let's play a tutorial because i have no idea what i'm doing management employees emergencies okay Lobotomic Corporation, face the fear, make the future, initializing system, right, so is it loading, is anything happening, should I click, no, nothing's going on, so, I'm just gonna do a quick check, accelerating energy convention, running Sephiroth protocol, readjusting TT2 protocols, oh, I love the music, Angela, hello manager, welcome to Lobotomy Corporation. Starting today, we are responsible for managing the abnormalities we have and ensuring that we meet the daily energy quota. Okay, that's nice. Okay, we can move with the mouse. Let's see, zoom in, zoom out, sure. Let's try simple maneuver. When you hover over mouse over an agent, some information about them will be shown in the top right corner. Please try selecting an agent by pressing the primary mouse button. Okay, so that's our agent, standard riot stick, one day in control center, indecisive newbie. Okay, we click on it. Well done! The information displayed in the panel on the right is related to the selected agent. Some of this information is vital, such as their statistics and, well, ego equipment. Okay, a lot of things will be familiar here, I'm, go I'm gonna guess. Please view the section in the manager's manual titled The Agents for more details about this, what this affirmation means. Uh, please view the section in the manager's manual titled The Agents. Okay. The bar at the top left of the screen displays the amount of energy you need to collect to end the day. The top right corner lists what missions you're able to attempt today. Manager education, we're completed 0 out of 3. Okay. Our company produces energy when a product called positive encephalin, PE, a green box, is released by an abnormality. An abnormality generates PE boxes while it is being worked on. Please click on the containment unit holding an abnormality with the primary mouse button. Okay. Since you have yet to unlock any information about this abnormality, you have no way of knowing how it will respond to the four different work types. In order to learn this information, an agent will need to perform a work with it. For now, please select the first work type available, Instinct Work. Now nothing else is available, so... Instinct work satiates an abnormality's psychological needs and desires. When an agent conducts instinct work, their fortitude will increase at the end of the day. Their fortitude will increase at the end of the day. Raising their health points. Now please click on the agent. Okay, so my agents level up. So this one has 35 HP points. Work success, unknown. Work time, unknown. Okay, can we pause with the space bar? No. How do we pause it? We can't. Each work you can request your agents to perform with a normality will have a different result. The success rate for each work type, something, something. If your employee is not mentally ready, abnormalities may appear more frightening or disturbing to them. As such, they may receive... <laughs> What's that? They may receive fear damage when encountering abnormalities, which will lower their sanity points. SP. Employees of a lower grade will take more fear damage from encounters with abnormalities of higher risks. Abnormalities release encephalin when agents work with them. And we collect this into what we call EE boxes. Depending on how the agent performs during the work process, the abnormality will either respond positively or negatively. When it reacts positively, it will release positive encephalin, which produces a green PE box. Okay. 
However, if the abnormality reacts negatively, we just have to keep on what we've always done before. Checking nutrition, the mind. However, if the abnormality reacts negatively, it will release negative encephalin instead and damage the agent. Please keep in mind that when an agent's HP or SP drops completely, the work process will be forcefully terminated. It seems zero, 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 zero likes people. Circles around, thinking about the center of the earth. Can I pause it? However, if the abnormality's mood might change depending on the outcome of the work done with it. The outcome can be predicted based on the amount of PE boxes we obtain during the work process. An abnormality typically has three states of response, good, neutral, and bad. Depending on the outcome, it may use a special ability or attempts to escape. Okay. Well, it seems like a lot of green dots here. Zero, 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 zero. It's very sad that Rogan has to leave so soon. It seems that he wants to follow them. When the work process is completed, the PE boxes are collected. In addition to PE boxes that count towards the daily energy quota, each abnormality also produces a set of PE boxes unique to them. These PE boxes are stored and shown in the abnormality unique PE box counter. This can be used to unlock more of an abnormality's information or to extract ego equipment. Okay. After work has been completed with an abnormality, you can send another agent to work with it for a short period of time. Until you can work with it again, you can send your agents to work with other abnormalities or let them heal up in the main room. When the department regenerator gauge fills completely, employees in the main room will be healed. This will restore both their health and sanity. Whenever the department regenerator gauge fills completely, Okay. What now? Let's try ordering an agent to work with a new method. First click on the agent with the primary mouse button. Okay. Now, you, we use the secondary mouse button to click on the containment unit. Please be aware that you can accidentally deselect the agent during this process. We still don't know how much, no much about this abnormality, so please order the agent to perform insight work with it. Okay. Insight work is work to improve living conditions, ensuring containment units are in optimal condition. When an agent performs insight work, their prudence will increase at the end of the day, raising their sanity points. Okay. Dun, bun, 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 bun. Hello, zero, zero, zero. Confirming work initiation sequences. Checking sentience. Center of the earth. You seem to have collected a sufficient number of abnormalities PE boxes. It's time to learn about observation. Please press the nameplate displayed at the top of the containment unit. At the moment, it displays the subject number instead of the name. After unlocking the abnormality's basic information, the name will be displayed instead. Okay. This display the current information we have on the abnormality. As you can see, we still have very little knowledge about it, as most of it is locked away. Okay. You will need to spend some of the unique P boxes we collected from the abnormality to gain specific information. Please try to unlock the basic information about the abnormality now. Unlock the abnormalities basic information. Cost one unique PE boxes. Okay, sure. Details and tips concerning the management of the abnormality are displayed here. If there is something the abnormality dislikes, it can result in decrease of its clip, clip, clip hot counter and cause problems with the rest of your, our energy production. Please be sure you unlock and read the abnormality encyclopedias through roughly. Now, try to unlock this information. How the abnormal abnormality reacts to the different work types is displayed here. The greater the preference for a certain work type, the more successful the work process will be. The number on the left indicates the virtual level an agent needs to perform that level of work. Please unlock all this information now. Continuing on, this area shows the maximum Clifford counter of the abnormality. 
It will also inform you on whether an abnormality is capable of escaping, as well as its damage resistances when it does. Knowing what an abnormality is weak to will be crucial in handling any escape situations. Try to unlock this information now. You have now maximized the observation level of this abnormality. When you fully unlock a section of the encyclopedia, the observation level of the abnormality will increase. This will provide additional benefits when working with the abnormality, such as increased work speed or success rate. Work success chance, work speed, work success chance, work speed, observation level 4. Okay. Once the observation level reaches a certain point, the extraction and production of EGO equipment from the abnormality will become available at the cost of its unique PE boxes. EGO weapons are powerful tools that can help with the suppression of abnormalities. Please extract one now. Uh, okay. So, EGO weapon, teeth, standard training EGO, type white, damage 5 to 7, speed normal, range short, manufacture. There we go. Ego suits offer increased resistances to certain types of damage. Inversely, some forms of damage may cause greater wounds depending on what ego suit is in use. Please extract one now. Ego suit, tit. Standard training ego, red 0 0.5, endured. White 0 1.0, normal. Black 1.5, weak. And pale 2.0, vulnerable. Or, well, fatal. Yes? Ah. Uh, kind of okay manufacture one of those well done manager here you can view <laughs> yes you can click <laughs> here you can view the ego gifts that abnormality may present to an agent if this information is unlocked each time an agent finishes the work process with abnormality they will have the possibility of receiving the ego gift displayed here please note that the chances of this occurring tend to be rather slim ego gift acquisition probability 100 percent standard training ego hat hp plus two sp plus two okay lastly let's take a look at the abnormalities observation records please click on the text abnormality story in this section of the encyclopedia, you can read through the observation records of the normality. New lines will be added as your observation level increases. Now then, it seems we are reviewed everything. Please exit the window by clicking close. Now that you have unlocked the basic information, some of it is displayed at the top of the containment unit. <laughs> Standard training dummy rabbit. <laughs> Furthermore, as we have unlocked the list of its favorite works, we now know what that abnormality prefers attachment work let's try out ordering an agent to perform attachment work with it please click on the abnormalities containment unit okay additional parts of the basic information are displayed in this window as well which can be useful to a new manager why don't you try ordering an agent to perform attachment work okay work damage red one to two outcome ranges max ebook ten. okay attachment work Work success, success, high, work time 11. Seeing as you have learned the preferences for attachment work, the success rate the agent will have and the amount of time needed to perform the work are displayed. You can also see the various details of the agent by mousing over them. This will allow you to make mindful decisions when giving out orders. Please select an agent to do the work. Let's go! There is one last thing I should warn you about. Each time an agent enters a containment unit to work with an abnormality, the Clifford meltdown gouge will fill by one tick. Okay. When the gouge fills completely, a Clifford meltdown will occur throughout the facility. The number on the right part of the gouge indicates the number of containment units that will be affected. Affected containment units will receive a meltdown alarm and will have an alert around them. When a clip clip hot meltdown occurs, the containment unit will have a timer displayed alongside the alarm on top. This timer will slowly drop until it reaches zero. However, if the abnormality was already being worked with... Okay, that's... The meltdown can be resolved by performing works with the abnormalities whose containment units are affected. If the meltdown is not dismissed within the time limit, a portion of energy that we have collected will be lost, and the Clifford counter of the containment unit will immediately drop to zero. Please try to prevent this from happening. You can find more detailed information about this in the work count pe penalties section of the manager manual. Okay. 
So when this thing activates, we have to go and work with it, as far as I can tell. Each time a Clifford meltdown occurs in the facility, the meltdown level increases. The higher the meltdown level, the more containment units that will undergo the Clifford meltdown. There is also the possibility... Okay, why, why, does, why do this skip so fast? I believe we have covered almost everything you need to know to begin managing abnormalities. If you have any desire to read more about it, which I would highly recommend, please look it up in the manual. The manual can be consulted at any time during management by pressing the F1 key. Now then, shall we finish the workday? All you need to do is to press the button at the top. Day 1 workday complete. Okay. After completing the workday, any agent who has performed work will have their status values increased according to the work types they performed. Okay, after these values pass a certain point, their corresponding virtual level will increase. The agent's level can also increase if their virtues are high enough. Those who achieve this will be promoted and shown in the list below. Okay, promotion ranking S, reward, remaining that, promoted, right. You will also receive LOB as a reward for your hard work in accordance with your management rating. You can ensure high rank by keeping more of your agents alive at the end of the day. The higher ranking, the more LOB you will receive. However, if there is an, any abnormality lose when you choose to complete the workday, you will lose some of the LOB you would have otherwise gained. You can view which missions you managed to successfully complete throughout the day here. Anytime you clear a mission, you will be able to conduct research in the department in it came from at the start of the next day. Once management has been finished, you can elect to advance to the next day or to retry the current day. Dead agents and lost ego equipment will be recovered if you decide to retry. Dead agents and lost ego equipment will be recovered if you decide to retry. So it's like a reload. However, you will also lose any abnormality observations, PE boxes, extracted ego equipment, and promotions earned if you begin the day anew. So it's basically like, yeah, it's like a reload really, okay? Finally, click on the button to skip to the next day. From there, I will instruct you on deployment. Proceed to the next day. Yes. Would you like to advance to the next tutorial? Yes, please. Okay, good, good, good. Manager education, manager education research. When a mission is successfully completed, you will be able to conduct a research project. The proposals for a department's various research projects are displayed at the start of each day during deployment. To select a research project, click and drag it to the open slot at the lower right. Then click proceed to confirm your choice. Please try to do so with this example proposal. Research integration, temporary educational purpose integrated research. The research projects that actively assembly summon geo visualization and damage normalization will be activated temporarily for the duration of the manager's education. These functions will be properly activated once the re requisite research is completed. Okay, so this is like just a tutorial thing. Please proceed, confirm. Do you recall how you were rewarded LOB for your skill during management? You can see the total amount of LOB you've garnered here. So we got three here. For this part of my instruction, I'll show you how to spend some of your LOB to hire new agents and how to deploy them. Let's begin by hiring some new agents. Try pressing the hire button. Sure. Here you can see you can view the information appearance of your soon-to-be new hire. You can adjust their features by clicking on the arrows next to each one. If, for example, you desire to hire an agent with more HP, you can you could increase their fortitude. Let's try that now. Okay. As you increase the virtual level of an agent before hiring them, the amount of LOB required will increase as well. The higher the values, the more LOB they will cost. You may need to consider through roughly how much LOB you're willing to spend on just one agent, as well as how much you will have afterwards before finalizing your decision. Once you finished adjusting your new agent to how you want them to be, you can press the hire button again to finalize the procedure. Please do so now. Hello, welcome to the team. Dia? The agent you are customizing has been just been hired. How about we take a look at their information again? Please click on the agent. Okay. Just like we viewed their information during management, the information about your agents will be displayed here just the same. If you think your agent could utilize some strengthening in one of the riches, you can do so by fortifying them. Please click on the Strengthen Employee button. 
Exactly as we adjusted the virtues during hiring, you can adjust them here by pressing the arrow next to each one. Please remember that as stated prior, it will cost additional LOB to do so. Try augmenting prudence by one level. Uh, what will this give me? Oh, SP, okay. It seems your new employee is ready to be deployed. Let's do so by clicking and dragging the agent with the primary mouse button over to the control team. Well done, now to give them some equipment. If you recall, we extracted some ego equipment from the abnormality yesterday. We can give that to our employees. To view it, please press the ego list button. Currently displayed in the list of available ego weapons and their information. Now click on one of your agents in the list to the right to select them. Now assign an ego weapon to a selected agent by clicking one of the empty slots. Um. There. Continuing on, let's take a look at the list of available ego suits. Please click on the ego suit tab. Just as before. You can assign an ego suit to one of your agents by clicking on an empty slot. Please take a moment to test equipping other employees with both ego weapons and ego suits. But it's like here we have the 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 suit and here we click oh wait what oh we have to click on them oh this is like are these like the the three different oh these are like three different ego suits we have here right so we click on a person and then we click the weapon standard right stick standard training ego white and this is what red white five to seven red four to six okay uh can i like remove okay zion standard uniform normal normal weak vulnerable endured normal okay so this is like a little bit better that okay now well, let's equip everyone Excellent work. We should head back to the deployment screen. Please exit this list. It appears there is a mission awaiting you for today. It is not necessary to clear every mission you have immediately, but it is recommended to handle them soon so that you will be able to conduct research the following day. Mission Manager Education. Complete three work processes with abnormalities. On one last thing, if you have any further questions involving the management process or deployment, you can always review the manual by clicking this button on top. The manual can also be opened any time by pressing the F1 key. Next, I will briefly explain to you how to deal with emergency situations that may arise while you're managing the abnormalities. When you're ready, please begin the next day of management. Would you like to advance to the next tutorial? Yes, please. Okay, so far so simple. Uh, a lot of information. You can tell it's an in-depth game. Allow me to explain how a manager should deal with emergency situations. The number displayed here is the Clifford counter. It will decrease if you happen to violate the managerial guidelines shown in the Abnormalities Encyclopedia or fail to avert a Clifford meltdown in time. Okay, so we don't want this to drop to zero. So now you must be wondering what happens when the Clifford counter drops to zero, no? Shall we find out? <laughs> no, let's not. <laughs> Please select the containment unit and order an agent to perform repression work. Oh boy. Why don't I have the information? Oh, work success common. Okay. Well, I guess the the training dummy bunny will not be happy about being repressed. Well, no, actually. He's like, fine. So what now? Okay, so when this fills up, everyone heals, right? 
Standard training dummy rabbit has escaped its containment unit. What are your orders? When a Maltese Clifford counter reaches zero, they will either escape or use a special ability. Such things can lead to rather inconvenient situations. This particular abnormality happens to escape. Our agents cannot work with it while it's escaping. So we need to suppress it. Please click on the escaped abnormality. Abnormalities can inflict four different damage types. Red, which decreases health, white, which decreases sanity, black, which decreases both health and sanity, and pale, which decreases health by a percentage based on the target's maximum HP. Agents equipped with Ego can also utilize one of these four damage types. Attack type red, and it's weak to white, okay. Furthermore, abnormalities have a set of defenses for these damage types. Some forms of attack may be weak, while others could be fatal. You can suppress an abnormality more effectively when your agents attack using the damage types an abnormality is weak against. This abnormality deals red damage and it's weak to white damage. How convenient that our agents are all equipped with ego suits which resist red and ego weapons that deal white damage. Very inconvenient indeed. One would like suspiciously think that this was set up on purpose. One other thing, if an agent is using an ego weapon whose grade is higher than the abnormalities risk level. Ooh, that is bigger than Zion. They will deal more damage to the abnormality and take less damage as well. In our current situation, the ego's grade of the abnormalities risk level are the same. That equals that, so this does not apply. When the suppressions U is in display, you can take note of what ego each agent has equipped with before sending them into combat. Hovering your mouse over an agent will also allow you to check up on their defenses. Now, please click on the agent to begin suppressing our escaped abnormality. Order suppression. We can only send one. Coming face to face with an abnormality, especially so when it is on the loose, can be quite shocking and frightening to your employees. Just like when an agent enters a containment unit, they may receive fear damage. If the risk level of the morality is high while the agent's level is low, it will cause a heavier strain on their mind and lower a larger portion of their SP. Okay. Oh no, that's... That's gruesome. <laughs> there we go. It appears this, that this abnormality is a bit too strong for just one agent to suppress. Ah, this is a good time to remind you that if an agent dies, the ego they were assigned will be lost as well. Now, let's order the rest of them, please, to help suppress this abnormality. Please select the other two agents by clicking and dragging on them with the primary mouse button. Now click on the abnormality with the secondary mouse button to immediately order them to suppress it. Please be aware that you can accidentally deselect the agent during this process. It is much safer, easier as well, to give your orders when you pause. You can pause the flow of time by pressing the icon on the lower left or by pressing down the spacebar of your keyboard. Well, it seems to me she's doing quite fine, but that's okay. PG-13. <laughs> You've done well handling this situation. Let's move our employees back to the main room of their department. Please select them all by clicking and dragging with the primary mouse button. There we go. With them selecting, use the secondary mouse button to click on the main room. It is important to know that you can also use what you've learned here to have them wait on standby in other locations such as hallway and other departments. Okay. Okay. No need to panic. No need to panic. No need to panic. Hello. <laughs> if Jean's gone mad, please handle them soon. 
When an employee's sanity fails to zero, they will panic. A panicked employee will show different behavior depending on the highest virtue. If you wish to learn more about this, please refer to the section Employee Panic in the Manager Manual. Now please click on the currently panicking employee with the primary mouse button. Agents can be recovered from their panic when their SP is restored completely to zero. SP can be restored with white or black ego weapons. Conveniently, all of our agents are equipped with ego that deal white damage. Please select all available agents and order them to suppress the panicked employee. There, there, everything's gonna be fine. Let's whack some sense into her. I saw my dead colleague yesterday. We had a nice dinner and coffee together. He seemed to be something something, okay? That was excellent, truly well done. If you ever happen to fall into a situation you would wish to redo, such as turning back time to avoid the death of an agent, you can do so by pressing escape and clicking the rewind to memory position button or by clicking rewind or by clicking retry. When you choose memory repository, it will go back to the most recent imprinted day. Retry on the other hand will restart back at the current day's deployment. Okay, lastly, let's call all of our agents back to the main room of their department. You can, of course, do this by selecting them all and manually moving them with a the secondary mouse button. However, there's an even easier manner. Next to the regeneration gauge of the department is a recall button. You can use this button to summon all your agents back to their respective home department's main room. Please do so. Tum, tum, tum. This is like ringing the, the town bell in Age of Empires. Pum, 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 pum. Everyone get back to the HQ. This concludes our basic manager training and education. If any questions or concerns happen to cross your mind while you're on the job, you can always refer to the manual by pressing F1 or by opening it from the escape menu. Lastly, there will be tool tips that appear if you mouse over the various interfaces and wait a moment. I wish you good luck and lasting health at Lobotomy Corporation. Manager. Okay, cool. So I guess that was the tutorial and um, let's see, how long did it take us? 31 minutes. Okay, well, it seems like this is a possible strategy game, so that will be really good. I like possible strategy games. I don't like clicking frenetically. I'm more like about, you know, pausing and then thinking and then making a decision. So in essence, it's actually a turn-based game, although like turns stick by really, really fast. Yeah, so it's more like pausable real-time game, right? Nah, how do you call these? Mm, tactical, pausable, something games. Anyway, it's like, you know, those RPGs, like, what did I play? Baldur's Gate, stuff like that, where you can also pause, give commands and stuff, anyway. But it's not played on a grid, it's played on a continuous environment world, world where people walk around and stuff. Okay, cool. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> it seems to be quite a cute game with like, uh, you know, a lot of gruesome stuff in it, but it should be fun. <laughs> so anyway, after uh, <laughs> bashing some scent into our panicked employee here, we uh, finish the tutorial and we were told that we can press F1 to go and uh, read some more information. Uh, we can uh, do it from here. Can we like do it from here? Okay. No, I guess we have to be inside the game. That's fine though. Options, how do we exit the options, save and quit, okay, cool. Well, that's gonna be it for this episode. Uh, if you're looking forward to this series, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, show some love. And well, I hope you're as hyped as I am to be playing this game and for you to watch it. And I wish you a wonderful day. Uh, thank you all for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next episode where we're gonna start our official first day. Wish me luck. Neymar signing out, bye bye.